What's going on guys? Comes here back again on another MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty video. Y'all see the stubs up in the top right hand corner. We got close to 450k. We got 435,000 stubs. And it's about damn time that we make some big upgrades to the team. You guys see we got comments in place is where we are making upgrades. That would be catcher. I know it's sad to see Joe Torre is finally making his departure from the squadron. We need a third baseman, a right fielder, and then also we are going to be picking up two starters and two relievers as well so that is because i'm great as math as you'll already know three plus two is five plus two is seven seven brand new diamond upgrades coming in this video and we have a couple new huge upgrades in pretty soon as well as you guys can see i'm very close to completing the fourth inning program should have that done in a couple of days and then i'm almost close to level 40 which means i do get a brand new um 40 uh level 40 gold xp pack which is um going to be this one right here and we have another really high diamond pick so we're getting a lot of upgrades to the team in hopes that we can get up to world series i will be live streaming tonight with a brand new team but with all that being said Let's get into the upgrades. Cheat. So the first upgrade I want to go over is replacing my boy Joe Torre. Trust me, this was not easy. You guys know I love Joe Torre. Used him close to 400 at bats. He's been on the team for a minute. Um, 265. Honestly, it's just at times he was really hot. Sometimes he really couldn't do that much. And I thought I would give somebody else a shot. But trust me, if they can't do it, Joe Torre is gonna come back on the team actually gonna get jimmy fox to play catcher you guys can see his statistics right here he can play catcher he's gonna have 65 fielding god knows what his block is um it does not say of course um he'll have really good hitting, hitting stats the 102 125 contact 78 85 power so lefties he's going to absolutely marauder them 87 vision and then 66 speed behind the plate as well i want to at least give him a shot see what happens so jimmy fox we are going to put a buy order in on him I personally think he's going to do pretty well. I'm not too sure how much defense actually matters behind the plate. Um, just because Joe Torre, if you guys look at his stats, he is pretty good. You know, defensive catching ratings as well. 80 blocking, 78 fielding. But he still doesn't do all that well defensively for me. So... I really don't know if they matter or not. Let's go over to one of the bullpen guys that I'm going to get. I mentioned in my video that I really liked this Ryan Presley and for good reason. The new tops now card. He just looks really, really solid if I do say so myself. Um, 96 hit 9, 89 K9, 94 walk 9, 87 home runs per 9, 91 pitch and clutch, 88 break. He has a four seam fastball, sliding curveball, a slider, and a two seamer. Probably never going to use the two seamer unless it's righty on righty and I'm just feeling absolutely absolutely froggy but he's gonna throw about 97 miles per hour i wish he had a change up but overall i think he kind of looks like he looks a lot like his teammate roberto osuna except just without the change up um and better so i really am liking the looks of this ryan presley and we are of course going to be putting a buy order in on him as well he's going to be oh my god thank god that didn't oh can you imagine if i somehow bought that for like 300k now let's move on to a starter that i have been looking at now trust me i would love to get verlander burt felix of course that granky and so on and so forth i just don't want to spend that much on one singular starting pitcher but don't don't give me shade about that you guys don't notoriously i do not spend that much on pitching but this year i just pitch like absolute butt cheeks so i thought i might as well invest some more in some pitching and i'm going to be getting two brand new signature starting pitchers one of those being c c sabathia i've loved him in 17 i liked him last year when i did use him and i want to bring him back to the squad i was a little hesitant on how much i would actually like lefties this year but for the most part i do enjoy madison bumgarner and i think there's a lot more of a variety a lot of people just stacked righties last year so i think cc is going to do a good job you see 86 hit 9 94 k9 87 walk 9 83 home runs per nine throws pretty hard 97 probably 98 for seam um i really do like his pitch repertoire as well cc should make a fine addition to my rotation 
Moving on to the brand new right fielder that I am going to be getting. That's going to be the brand new Justin Upton. If you guys don't know, I am a big Justin Upton fan. Big fan of his. I like his swing and diamond dynasty as well. I was super stoked when I saw that he was going to get a signature card. And he doesn't go for all that much. You guys see his stats right here. Something that I think is kind of underrated. He's only six foot two. I prefer smaller guys opposed to bigger guys. Just because they have a, uh, they have a larger strike zone. So in my opinion it's a lot easier for somebody to try to dot you up and freeze you and make you strike out looking so i do prefer people being a little bit shorter justin upton 94 contact per side 92 and 104 power 74 vision is honestly pretty good for justin upton 75 fielding is not the best but it is silver defense i've used ballinger not really too much issue so that's pretty similar i think he has five better fielding as well 83 arm makes up for it plus he has better fielding than vlad i know people run him 72 speed 70 stealing justin upton Obviously, I'm going to keep him in right field. I do not want to risk moving him anywhere elsewhere for his defense to drop. So, Ichiro's going to play in center and Tony Gwynn's going to play in left. But I think that is a fantastic outfield. Moving back to the bullpen, I want to get one pretty big stud, and that is going to be 94 overall signature series Bruce Suter. I think this card looks really nice. He only has three pitches, but they're about the best that you could get. A splitter, a fastball, and a slider. Those are a deadly three combination. Doesn't throw that hard, only about 94 miles per hour on the four-seam fastball, but he has a really good about 15 mile per hour drop-off from that four-seamer to the splitter. 116 K9, 103 hit 9, 92 walk 998 home runs per nine 89 control you guys know i love guys that help me out and help me hit my meter and hopefully not you know throw it down the middle of the plate and bruce Suter, i think is going to help me with that he is going for about sixty-five thousand. we will put a buy order in on him but i think he is definitely worth it and with the way i think's planned out my bullpen is about to be stacked Moving back to the starting pitching, we have another guy, another signature that I do want to acquire. He just came out alongside Justin Upton. That is going to be Jim Palmer. A lot of people, I think, slept on these last two signature cards. I think they are really, really nice because Jim Palmer, in a way, kind of looks like a little, a little less, a little shell of a righty Clayton Kershaw for these reasons. He throws about 96 miles per hour on the fastball like Kershaw. He throws a 12 six about 70 miles per hour just like kershaw and the drop off from that four seam to a change up 17 miles per hour is pretty crazy i think he has about the same pitches as well i think kershaw has a sinker i i think i'm not too sure um but he has about maxed out stamina 96 hit 985 k9 92 home runs per nine hopefully that should keep him keep the ball in the yard and he has pretty good control as well jim palmer going for about 73,000. i think he is another great pickup and honestly Honestly, him and CC should really bolster that rotation for me, make it an all-signature rotation. I think it would look very, very nice. Of course, like I said, I would love Verlander. I would love some of these upper echelon starters, but I don't want to quite sink in the studs for that yet. I want to try out these guys because I think they're going to do pretty damn good. And Jim Palmer, I always love it whenever people sell these right away. We've only gotten two to sell so far, and we're still waiting on four of them. Let's pick it up. We're at prime time. It's like three in the afternoon. Come on. And finally, the guy who I want to replace my third baseman might not be who you might exactly expect. We're going to be going with Alex Gordon right here. I had the stubs to pick up an Arenado type of player, someone like that. I could save a little bit more, get Matt Williams, get Wade Boggs, even though I just did pull him for the second time. Um, but I want to go with Alex Gordon. You guys know I'm a sucker for defense. He is going to drop down to gold to 87 fielding. He's still going to have 80 plus reaction. But I like him as a differential. He is going to help diversify the lineup. 91, 82 contact, 78, 76 power, 79 vision. I think he's just really balanced overall. And I think Alex Gordon is the guy we're going to be able to keep a little bit of stubs as well. And I really like that pickup. Like I said, um, one of my biggest problems with uh, like a guy like Arenado is he has 28 speed. For third base, that's a little slow, my guy. You know, if we're playing at the O.co and somebody hits it in foul territory, there's not a chance his slow ass is getting to that ball. Alex Gordon, however, probably. Plus, 
Arenado only has 80 defense, which I think is hella underrated. I don't know who the hell is up, uh, keeping track of defense of overalls for the Colorado Rockies over at SDS, but stop it. He's better than 80 fielding. I said it was prime time. Apparently, it's also prime time to just outbid me every single time. I really don't want to, but I also don't want to sit here forever, so I'm going to increase my buy order for Bruce Sutter by 2000. I said it's prime time. Maybe not. No, nope, that was wrong. <clears throat> it is peak season to outbid me why one damn stub. You know what? <sighs> Roast me in the comments. I'm, I'm getting tired of damn waiting. I don't give a damn. Ooh, and here we go. Look at this squad we got right here. Outfield looking like so. We got Justin Upton out in right. Itro, of course, still standing guard out in center. And then Tony Gwynn in left field. Over to the infield, we still got Frank Thomas at first or Cap at second. I know you guys say put him at uh, put him at catcher. I'm fine with him at second for now. Shortstop still for now. Jose Reyes, keyword for now. Third base is going to be Alex Gordon, then Jimmy Fox over behind the plate. Bench, you know, is as follows. Rotation, we got Kershaw, Nolan Ryan, Baumgartner, Jim Palmer, and CC Sabathia. And then our bullpen, we got the Goose Gossage, Bruce Suter, Riley Fingers, Ryan Presley, Felipe Rivero at this time, but Felipe Vasquez. And then we have two golds. But I do have a plan for both of these goals and then for our shortstop. You guys probably know that we did receive word that Omar Vizquel is going to be available in like two weeks. And he is going to be my shortstop of the future. Basically, imagine everything Jose Reyes does, but better. You know, a big problem I've had with Jose is his defense. Omar Vizquel has pretty much maxed out defense and better arm as well. He does have like 10 less speed, which isn't a huge deal. Still very elite speed in my opinion. Better contact, much better vision, and like the same power as well. And he's a switch hitter. This Omar, uh, Omar Vizcal does no wrong, you guys know. I was going to get Cal, but personally, I'd rather have this Omar Vizcal in my opinion. Like the same vision, the same contact, better defense, much better speed. Only thing he doesn't have is power, but I'm willing to sacrifice that for all the other intangibles. And he's a switch hitter, so I'm not going to be taking Cal. Now, I think I'm going to be going with Billy Wagner as my fourth inning boss program pick. Um, you guys know, he is ridiculous. He's probably the best reliever that we have in the game at this point, and he's just absurdly good. So, Billy Wagner is going to help bolster the bullpen along with Omar Vizquel, and I should probably get both of those upgrades uh well omar Vizquel is not going to come until like uh at some point in july but we should be getting billy wagner within the next couple of days and then i have another plan for another reliever that i want to get as well so let me guys know how how good do you think this team looks let me know how it's looking in the comment section did i make the right picks did i make something wrong was this a complete dumbass decision by my part let me know down below in the comment section like i said twitch.tv slash guns the legend we will be going live on the road to world series with this team so make sure to check it out in the description as well in the comment section if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to like double hope you guys agree today there it comes out love is love and hate is hate to die is an awesome adventure and i can hardly wait earth is a prison i need a great escape you know i'm in my zone when i'm up in outer space you know i'm in my zone when i'm up in outer space you know i'm in my zone when i'm up in outer space you know i'm in my zone you know i'm in my zone i took a bite of the glory